Hey everyone, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be making this particular design, which I found online and on Pinterest, by the way. So this is the actual dress. As you can see, this is not this is not the same dress, but this is just for the inspiration. And if you want, you can go and find the real dress link in the description. Whenever you start or import any character, make sure the skin offset is zero or below one. Let's make the basic shape. But in this video, I'm not gonna be showing you how to make a basic shape. Instead, watch this video to have an understanding how to make a basic shape. So I roughly made a basic block. Now let's refine it to make it a bit better. Let's start with the armhole first. Let's make it upward where the armhole should be there. And let's make it a bit smoother. Always remember to make smooth holes. It doesn't matter neck or arm. It needs to be smooth. And let's make, I mean, let's just drag the solder seam just a bit left. All right, as you can see, if you see here, the neckline is kind of, its neckline is far from the neck. So let's make it. So select that and if you don't know what I did there, it's just selecting both segment, right click, match up to start. And let's let's fix this here, maybe there. And shoulder maybe back. All right, looks okay in, for now. And the front neckline, let's make, let's add, a, let's add a curve point and curve this like that. And curve it and make sure this line is smooth. And I might want to go a bit down, maybe a bit down. And make sure to fit it nicely. I don't want any bad folds. But if there is bad folds, don't worry. I will remove them by him. Now, to the back. It's kind of interesting in the back area. I'm not going to be making the same, but it will be kind of same. I really love the back. So let's remove this curve point and add a point, just a regular point, and just make it a bit straight. And let's make it a bit smaller. Like that. And this one maybe like that. All right, let's tighten the back just a little bit and let's drag it up. Should be like that, maybe a little bit upward and this is a bit downward. Like that maybe. Yeah, I think that looks good. Like that. All right, now let's uh, add the lower part. It, this is an one piece dress, so it's just gonna be stitched together, I mean sewn together. So let's first make the lower part, then I'm gonna start making the sleeve. So select a, an ellipse tool and drag an ellipse. Select that ellipse, right click, offset as internal line, maybe 50. And current sew or cut and then delete. Let's adjust its location, the right side. Freeze everything except this pattern 
and it's very interesting because only the front of this this skirt is sewn back is just amazing how to achieve that it's very simple this area is the front so i'm going to just sew this area like this and holding shift like this so it's very simple and let's make it a bit bigger and let's simulate it first so you'll have this kind of effect but let's make it a bit better but not now i'm gonna just fix this just a little bit making it a bit tighter like that maybe a bit tighter um, yeah just a little bit don't do don't do it too much all right now let's sorry let's move the sewing around about here maybe so this gap will be removed maybe a little bit more like that and make this circle a bit smaller until it's maybe 15 or something um, one I don't want zero but well make it a bit bigger because I don't want zero yeah something like that looks very amazing let's first freeze this and Let's make this skirt a bit bigger around the knee area. I mean, the thigh area. So yeah, in this video, I am a bit faster. And I'm sorry about that. It's not for absolute beginner. But if you're stuck, don't forget to comment. And I will answer them. Um, yeah, I think that looks okay, but not, let's make it at almost the same, all right, now let's add the sleeve, freeze everything first, let's add a sleeve, this sleeve is really interesting as you can see and it will be interesting and it, it will be easy so first let's make a simple basic sleeve pattern and guys if you are a beginner uh, it will be a bit hard to follow along but don't worry maybe next sunday or yeah i think next sunday i'm gonna i'm gonna be uploading a complete beginner guide to marvelous designer i think it will be really fun let's hope that i can i can upload this in on sunday let's make it full sleeve for now i'm gonna make it 15 uh, default is 20 by the way 20 millimeter of particle distance but i made it 10 because 20 is awful trust me it's just not good let's sew it like that and let's internal line maybe 50 for sew it i mean simulate and it's up to you how much you want the sleeve cuff 
like this maybe. And this is gonna be a piece of sleeve, so I'm gonna make it like that. Simulate. I'm gonna make it until it has a nice gathering there. And at the same time, I'm gonna reduce this sleeve cuff to make it very tight cuff. And I think the cuff is a bit smaller. So yeah, like that maybe. No, maybe a little bit downish. Like that. And I think I will make it a bit smaller. Now, here will be an interesting thing, which is select this, right click internal line, maybe one centimeter, and hit OK. And right click, extend trim and add point to pattern outline. And for now, delete the sewing. And so from this internal line, uh, like this. For now, unfreeze everything and use the sublayer tool to set like that. That means this tool will be on top of the sleeve. The sleeve will go under this pattern and simulate. So you can see they will go, I mean the sleeve pattern will go underneath and it will give you an amazing effect, trust me. Just make sure this sleeve doesn't fall. And select this sleeve and sleeve curve. Control T to symmetric paste. And right here, simulate. And again, make sure this sub layer is like that. So it will be underneath and it will, it will look amazing. Now, I can make it even better. Yeah, I will make it even better, of course, but I will add a pose. Just the normal pose that I do every time. Uh, I just load as a morph and hit OK. It will be just, it will take some time and yeah. Yeah, like that and sure, why not? Let's fix this. It's up to you. I mean, I don't know what kind of pose you have and let's fix this first if you have different pose the problem will be different right now for my pose it's kind of a bit odd and tricky but it will get the job done I think yeah like that and let's simulate everything and make sure we yeah, just make sure this holds on the sleeve or i'm not going to be simulate right now because let's first add the details freeze everything and just work on the sleeve first and I'm gonna divide that into some checks into some chunks. May first one thirty and second one maybe on the fifty, maybe just a bit upward. Like that and cut and sew. And when you cut and sew, the sub layer is gone, so you have to do it again to this top pattern, like that. And for now, I'm gonna go this with maybe four, this one maybe seven, this one maybe ten, and simulate. So we'll see, of course, gathering. And now let's fix the sleeve cuff. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and this lower part a bit more smaller. There is no word, it's more smaller but anyway. 
All right, let's make it maybe five and right click layer clone over, right click, remove linked editing and delete this auto sewing. And so like that, and so like this. So, oh. Okay, so you have to sew like this and sew like that. Now select both and reduce the collision thickness maybe one and hit simulate or hit space but it's not done yet select this four segments right click internal line maybe eight hit okay and segments so like that don't mess up the sewing and simulate if you did everything right it will look like this um i think i should down this a bit lower like that and select that Control d to symmetric paste here and right click superimpose over and simulate of course you can do even less maybe three but it it is it's up to you don't add unnecessary details it's just bad don't add them now let's focus on the skirt area let's unfreeze that and um, maybe I will add some gathering here by selecting this line and add elastic maybe 99 simulate so it will have just way to gathering Oh, sorry, not strength 99, ratio 99. I'm sorry about that. Um, maybe a little bit, the lower it, will, it is, the more strength, I mean, the more gathering it will become. The close to 100, it will let's gather. Maybe I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Um, yes, maybe. Now, one more thing, which I forgot to add, which is work on the poplin fabric, maybe 40, and simulate everything. Make mine the solder. It might come off, I don't know. I know why, but anyway, just select that, and select that with saved, right click, create pin simulate and the poplin fabric will be a bit lighter so just let it drape first by the way guys you can also add a bit of gathering here also I didn't add but that's fine I guess let's make let's do kind of same thing here on the skirt area this 150 maybe 150 like that and select both cut and sew select that make it maybe three make it maybe six again guys don't add unnecessary density i just love adding density so just forget about me if your pc starts slowing down don't add unnecessary things so just let it drape and it will eventually look good now freeze everything and just work on this this area let's delete all pins simulate and let's work on the hem start from the back um, just select sorry select this right click and offset as offset in tail line I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with 10 millimeter and select this four I mean it should you should select all these segments and trace right click trace as a pattern very simple and sew it like that segment so control D to symmetric 
paste, select both and layer clone over. Make sure to make it like two, it's okay. You can go with three or four and thickness one. And no, let's simulate and I will see you. I, and I will tell you what to do. And let's sew here. Make sure the sewing is not reversed. And can I do the same thing on the front line? 10 millimeter, select 12. Um, no. Should go like this. If you hold D, it will be like that. So, something like this. And then select everything and hit control. Uh, sorry, trace as a pattern. I set my heart kit to T, but that's okay. Control D to symmetric paste and select both. Same thing, superimpose over, make it maybe two. One, this is one and simulate to see how it looks now so this front pattern and so this pattern which is this solder simulate and then select this only the outline and this back and front and add elastic. Eight is too much. First add 99 and its space. It will be a bit weird. Let's fix this. Let's superimpose over again. To the back, I think that looks okay for now. Mm. Let's make this maybe five. Everything is good. Simulate. This one wants to go up the solder. I don't know why. Because of the pose, of course. If you have another pose, I don't think it will be a problem, but and I'm trying to fix it. So I think that's it. Right, so yeah, that's it. And I don't think there's something I, I missed, I don't know. Although both are different, as you can see, it has puff sleeve. I mean, as you can see, the sleeve is way puffier here than mine. You can adjust this, it's okay. The link is in the description, go and check that out. Take inspiration, make it, and comment if you find this video helpful. I don't think it's the best video. It's the worst video actually. I just make it in a rush. But yeah, that's what that is. Thank you so much for watching. And this is my Instagram account. Just go and follow it. Or yeah, do whatever you want. See you in the next video. Bye.